What is going on guys? Owen here, Muscle Car Central. We're back with another fantastic Tech Tuesday. We're talking oil filters, the filters that will keep your car running a long time. So we're gonna talk about 67 GM engine and oil filters. Early production GM blocks had the oil canister here for an oil filter. It's not the oil filter you see more modern today. Uh, this is for 67 and older GM blocks. Now when you get to 68 and up, they transition to your more modern oil filters. Now these original 67 canisters work fine. They function amazingly. The only problem is, is getting a hold of all the parts to use them. We offer the filter itself, but we can't hardly get a hold of the actual canister that bolts to the block. So that's why we offer an alternative here. The alternative is the adapters to transition from this oil filter to your modern style oil filter. Now let's walk you through here what you gotta do in order to change your early GM production block to the new style oil filter. First we have the bypass plate. So this is the plate that'll actually sit up against your block. Next we have the adapter plate that your oil filter will actually screw onto. So to start it off, we'll walk you through on how you can get this installed. The biggest thing and the first thing you wanna look at is your bypass plate and your rubber washer here. So this rubber gasket, will, you'll actually insert this into your block, that valley for the oil filter. Next, you're going to want to get your smaller gasket that this kit comes with and you're gonna sit it on top of your adapter plate here and it'll sit in like that. After you've got your rubber gasket in your block, rubber gasket on your adapter plate, you're gonna put your bypass plate onto your adapter plate like so. This is gonna give you a seal in two places. The seal for your engine and the seal for your plate. Once you have these put together, you're going to grab the bolts that come with the kit. These bolts are longer, so it will reach through both plates and grab onto your block. You're going to put your bolts through like so. And that's what you're gonna be looking like there. Now the last gasket that comes with it is the actual gasket to seal your bypass plate to your block. So that is going to sit directly up into your block with this gasket that will be sitting in the block and you'll be able to bolt this down and get a nice seal. Now when you're bolting this down, make sure to be careful and not over tighten it. Don't snap off the bolts into your block. That'll go for a long day and probably a lot of curse words, so don't do that. So this is the gasket that you're going to sit inside the block so you can sit your bypass plate up against it and seal it. If you come down here, we've got a block here and we'll show you what we're talking about. So this rubber gasket will line up directly inside this filter area here. And then next bypass plate will bolt directly into your block there and get a nice seal with the rest of your adapter plates. So this is what your complete assembly will roughly look like. So this is gonna bolt directly up into the block and it's gonna be able to seal. So then you can screw your canister on to your block. So here on your adapter plate, this is what your oil filter will actually attach to. You've got your gasket here that sits down like so. You've got your extended bolts to make this possible. You've got some lubricant that it comes with so you can lube up your gaskets so they don't get bunched up. And then you have your adapter plate here that will sit down like so. Alrighty guys, so that's all we have for you today. We showed you how to convert your 67 and older GM blocks to your more modern style oil filters. This is a PF25 oil filter. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. Let us know what you want to see next Tech Tuesday and go check us out at our websites, Camaro Central, Firebird Central, and MuscleCarCentral.com. Drop a like, subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.